Second straight night, the Bucks beat the second worst team in the majors with a walk off. Ryan Laverne way with the walk off home run, two not home run, walk off hit, two one. Pirates win it, 76 and 74. The battle in Buccos did it again, Paul. Against Kansas City. I don't care. I Kansas stopped City. worrying and caring about them long ago. Let's cut to Bruce and Leedsdale. What's up, Bruce? You know what? The, the problem isn't Tomlin. Okay. The prob- We're the listening. Problem- Are you hearing me? Yeah, I got you. Go ahead. Okay. The problem is it goes back to the organization. It goes back to Blunt and all these guys that they had. They should have not, if they couldn't, they couldn't sign a contract with with the running back. Uh, I don't know where Bruce is trying to go with this, but I mean, I don't know if it, I can't go back to Blunt when we're talking about Le'Veon Bell, right? I think that's what he was talking about. Yeah. I think, you know, seven beers ago, he could have come out with Le'Veon Bell, but now he's at the point where he's you know, a little mixed up. All right, so David <laughs> Palladino just tweeted me. He said, I absolutely agree 100%. Discipline comes from the top down. Tomlin has absolutely lost control, and now is the best opportunity for him to show that he can turn this all around. I, I think Tomlin could stop it. It's easy. He could have came I, out I today and said. I don't know that it's easy. I don't know that it's easy. You don't think it's easy? I think the, what cat's, if you out, say, the cat's out of the bag. It's tough to get the cat back in the bag. What if you say, Antonio, you, you, this is it. We're done. You can't do any more social media. Have your PR person I would be do willing it. To bet, cannot, you I cannot give your opinions bet, anymore. I would be willing to bet if he said that, Antonio Brown would tweet something within the next hour and say, okay, now what are you going to do, bench me? And, that's and the, that, now and that's, that's a the, serious problem. That's the problem, though. That's where we're at. You let the cat out of the bag. You know, here's the thing. I don't necessarily know that undisciplined is the right way to talk about Mike Tomlin. I would just say this. This team has a lack of attention to detail and focus. And I think it starts with him. I think, you know, he needs to, you know, and and there's little things you see in games which suggest that, you know. So, the, 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 the clock management Sunday. Yeah. There's not somebody on the sidelines telling Ben, Ben, let's go. We need to get into the end zone before the two minute warning. There's nobody on the sidelines saying that. That's an attention to detail thing. That was a loss of a time. But I'm just saying, there's little things like that you see all the time. And to me, that is, you know, the, that is the difference between being a, a champion and, you know, being a, a really good team in the regular season and not winning in the playoffs. Do you put a lot of this blame on Keith Butler? Or do you think it's the players? Or do you I've think it's said it before. With this I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I have no idea how Keith Butler still is the defensive coordinator of the Steelers. I just, I mean, you know, it. it, it they're, they're, they score 42 points in a playoff game and fire their offensive coordinator, and they give up 45. And their defense, after Ryan Shazier went down, their defense was terrible. In fact, Mike Tomlin tried to take the thing over. Yeah, they so the thing the is, run. if you don't trust him to call plays, meaning Butler, why is he here? And if you do trust him to call plays, meaning he's calling plays, they ain't working, so why is he here? One or the other. To me, you know, he's got to go. I mean, I... I don't like to call for somebody to be fired, but, you know, these guys make millions and he'll have a job two days after he gets fired. But my point is, he's not getting it done here. It's a bottom line business. Mike Tomlin says it's a bottom line business. Yeah. He's not getting it done. They weren't good at the end of last year. You you had a standard and you held Todd Haley accountable. I don't know what it was other than him and the quarterback don't get along, but you had a standard. Todd Haley didn't meet that for whatever reason and you let him go. Okay, fine. Why is the standard not applied to Keith Butler? Well, I think the standard with Haley had to have been uh, an issue with Ben. Well, yeah, he doesn't get along with the quarterback, and so it's, oh, well, he doesn't get along with the quarterback. We can't keep him around. Well, I I don't know if that's fair. Well, you you obviously don't like the gunslinger, Ben. I don't. (laughs) And we saw it again this week. So, again, he's had two games where he's 40-plus attempts, and they're they're 0-1-1. So, Probably is just a coincidence, though. He should keep throwing the ball 50 times again. Definitely coincidence. All right, we're going to take a break. Back to wrap things up. Coming up next, stay right there.